tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. In 2013, my pilot was picked up by the Food Network, where I made my TV debut on season five of The Great Food Show Grace. It was the happiest moment of my life. Yes. Yes. Here I am, less than one year out of college, with the opportunity to seize my dreams and become America's next big food sensation. I was sure I had this one in the bag. For my grads. My heart is absolutely broken. I've got a passion for young culinary students. I believe in what you're doing. You could have done so much more. I think food's creative, but in the end, you just didn't put it all together this weekend. Take this serious life lesson and keep pushing forward. This isn't the last that America's gonna see the gourmet graduates. Hey, what's up guys? It's Keith coming to you live from the flavor capital of the world, New York City. Or in my girlfriend's backyard at her tiki bar here on Long Island. But you get the deal. What I'd like to talk to you guys about today, and what I think I can do as the next Food Network host, is teach people about real food and real ingredients. You see, in the beginning, I was trying to take everything out of the cabinets and just jam it onto a plate. And that's just ain't how you do it. When I'm cooking, I'm really telling you a story about my menu. You know, recipes that speak to my background, ingredients I'm passionate about, or just something I was experimenting with, like these. Caesar salad shots. We have a roasted chili Caesar dressing, Old Bay crouton crumble, minced chilies, grilled shrimp, grilled romaine, and you can eat this with a spoon or my favorite way, just like a shot of tequila. The Caesar dressing gives you the same burning effect as the tequila, where the crouton crumble and the romaine play the chaser like the salt and the lime. The funny thing is, I used to hate peppers. People hate foods until they learn how to cook with them. Get in the kitchen, get acquainted with some of the foods you don't like, you're gonna start liking them. Cooking's not just about great food. It's about being able to put all the pieces together to create an everlasting experience. My idea is, let's give the chefs a platform where they can say, hey, this is my food, this is what I'm all about. I believe that good food, good people, and good drinks is a perfect trifecta to create a memorable meal. I can flip the traditional dinner out on its head by engaging diners in a more thoughtful way, and I think that is something that would sell. Giotti, you said it yourself. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? So what do you say? Food Network, why don't you come over this weekend? It's an evening-long celebration of food. You're invited. Caesar salad, <laughs> she's a salad sauce. She sells she sauce at the free store. Caesar salad, <laughs> I can't even say it now. Caesar, why can't I say it? Caesar salad, what the fuck? Caesar, <laughs> I knew I was gonna do it. Come on. It was freezing and the dog is still barking. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, get it out. One more. Give me one more. Right. I might as well just have a snack. Caesar salad. Caesar, Caesar salad shot. Why am I telling you? Caesar. <laughs> Alright. Caesar salad shot. <laughs> this is crazy. Fucking Caesar salad shot. It's a tongue twister, man. Damn. <laughs>